What's up guys, Spore Knight here, and welcome to Pokemon Fusion Generation. Um, this is a ROM hack that I saw recently on some forums, and I thought it looked really interesting. Um, just a little bit of a disclosure, I went and played the first little bit of the game just to make sure that um, I could kind of know where I was going at the beginning, and test to see how it would work. So, without further ado, let's get going. A new game. Hello, sorry to keep you waiting. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Oak. People call me the Pokemon Professor. Well, you're one of many, but okay. This world is inhabited by creatures we call Pokemon. But why am I telling you all of this? I'm sure you know already. You are the Hoenn champion, after all. So yeah, that's something interesting about this game. It starts out with you being the champion already. Are you a boy or a girl? Boy. And... The controls are a little bit, in my opinion, a little bit clunky, just because it's requiring me to use the uh, arrow keys. But... I'm sure I'll get used to it. Aww. Okay, fine. SNR. Good enough. Yes. And I, there I go, skipping all the text. There I go again, treating you like a novice. Forgive me. I guess what I should say is a whole new world of dreams and adventures with Pokemon awaits. Let's go to Kanto. And I can't run yet because I left my running shoes at home. Ooh. Oh, if I go into here and show you my Pokemon, I have a level 80 Rayquaza. But don't worry, I'm not going to have it for long. Me, it's about time. Poor SNR, too slow as always. Surprised to see me? I guess it's been a while. I heard you were going to take the Kanto Gym Challenge, and I thought you could use some competition. Come on, we're almost to Viridian City. The city. Try and keep up, SNR. I'd love to, but I don't have my running shoes. And since I don't have my running shoes, I can't run at all. Gotta go down this way. You left your running shoes at home, didn't you? Lucky for you have an extra pair. Yay. Yeah, I... To be honest, in this game, I'm going to just skip a lot of text. N no. Why am I not running? Give me a potion. There's always this guy at the beginning who's like, here, here's a potion. So, um, this in addition to a couple of other, excuse me, in addition to a couple of other ROM hacks I'll be playing in the future, um, right now I'm testing out on my phone, um, Pokemon Advanced Adventures. The story, it's okay, but it's really tough and really interesting. And then I'm also, um, just testing out, uh, I'm, I'm actually beta testing for some friends a different uh, ROM hack called uh, Pokemon Project Blizzard, and uh, they only have three cities done, which is still quite a bit of work done, but uh, I'll probably play that when they have a little bit more of it completed. Uh, just for the sake of everything going faster, because I can't stand going slow. Time for three times speed. Woo! Because everything goes so slow in Pokemon. <laughs> so, I'm just going to skip by a lot of this text that I've already seen. Um, and I'm going to choose Bulbasaur because that's the first Pokemon I ever chose. And I'm going to give it the name that I named my first Bulbasaur. Five. 
Yeah! <laughs> Seed ball. I'm gonna take this one. Wait, we got a battle. You know, because we always battle. Tackle. Woo. Hey, look, leveled up. And almost leveled up again. Okay, so the story for this game is that uh, Bill in um, if you remember from the first generation of Pokemon, Bill is the person who made the PC and he also went in um, invented he was working on some tests with some Pokemon. And this is basically the game that talks about what happened with those tests. Um, I'm just gonna pull up my little companion here for the wiki. up later but um yeah there's there's a big important piece here that I'm not going to explain yet but it's going to be quite obvious with the title of the game um when you see it stop missing I go to the Pokemon Center. Here. Ah, I give up. He's not coming. Who? Go this way. Uh, talk with people. Oh, one funny thing. <laughs> I'm awake. Ugh. Okay. And here's Viridian Forest. There's a couple of people I have to battle. Leech seed. Ooh, now I'll be healed and they take damage. So I'm going to just like really power through. Like I don't want to miss content, but I'm going to try and give you um, like the highest overview of this game that you can see. And, uh, then that gives you the chance to go and play it yourself. So, if you haven't noticed with the battle scheme, um, this is actually based on, like, the DS version of, uh, Pokemon, with, like, the art style and all of that. But, they went and made it so that it looks more like the Game Boy Advance style of, like, having the four... Uh, spots that you can go and select from, which I think they did a very good job at this. Yeah, okay. And here's this. Oh, apparently there's a net ball I'm supposed to go get. Wait. minutes already? Boy. Time just flies by. Wait, I'm supposed to leech seed. There we go. Okay. I, I'm sorry, I'm receiving a text. Yeah, phone. 
Yes, I defeated this person, got 80 po- poke, okay. Down and this way. Of course. Okay. Leech seed. I'm assuming that this, um... That the Pokeball that we see over here is the... Ooh, I learned find what. Cool. Yes, the netball. Okay. And... Uh, leech seed. And find what? Yay! <laughs> okay. Yeah, no, not gonna go that way. This way! Oop. Come on. Okay. It's like, oh, too bad the, the top of the Pokemon Center is closed down, is what this person says here. The second floor is closed. How am I supposed to trade with my friends now? Well, uh, too bad. Uh, this is a PC game <laughs> that's not meant for playing with friends, but I'm sure that I could sit next to somebody and play. Um, five of these. There we go. Okay. So right now what I'm doing is Bill hasn't shown up because uh, some Pokemon essentially terrorized him, so we're rescuing him right now. Ah, stop it. Run. Ooh. I like me an item. that this is enjoyable for you guys. I'm I'm enjoying this. Antidote. Ugh. But yeah, I think we're almost to Bill. I stopped back there at the second trainer when I was just testing out. Um Metapod. Let's just tackle. It's the person after the hair cross or something like that. Stop using Arden. Really? Come on. Okay. Cool. Leech seed. Why would you switch out a Pokemon like that? <laughs> if you're not going to like heal or something along those lines. Found one potion. Sorry about that, somebody opened the door behind me and just didn't want them to get in the frame. So, um, I'm right back where I was. And this is why Metapods are annoying. Hi there. Um, so the Pokemon that I'm going up against is a Beedrill, if I remember correctly. And 
who's chasing Bill around, and uh, Bill needs rescuing because he only experiments on Pokemon. He doesn't really use Pokemon all that much. Okay, so here's the last one. Here's the last person. Come on. Okay. Find it. Tackle. Come on. This would this should be the last one. Okay, good. Yeah. You'd never beat me if I had a B drill. Mm-hmm. And so over. Help! Oh, hi there. Um options. like that. Bag. And... Netball. Use. Through one netball. Oh, it's so slow. Well, this Beedrill's gonna die. No, it didn't. Ooh. Did I turn it, like, slower than one times? Because this feels ridiculously slow. Well, it's gonna die. Bye-bye, Beedrill. <laughs> oh, well. It's so slow. Thank you so much. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Bill, the Pokemon researcher. I traveled here from Cerulean Cape uh, to show off my new creation, but couldn't get past that Beedrill. How can I ever repay you? Here, let me at least heal your Pokemon. I wish I had time to thank you properly, but I'm terribly late for my event. I know, I'll make you a part of the show. Please come with me. Okay. So, I'm gonna save here. And I'm sorry I didn't catch the Beedrill. I wanted to catch the Beedrill. Yes, and... Are you sure you want to save down over at that E? Oh, nope. Save. Yes. Okay. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.